I know I'm bad, okay? And self-acceptance is the first step to, um... Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I just want to say I'm sorry there was no video last week. Um, I didn't say anything because sometimes I just need a breather. Um, being online is hard and sometimes I just need a slice of real life with my family. You know, it's summer so it's been nice to be outside instead of cooped up in my room working on YouTube. So um, I really hope that you don't mind um, and you're happy to have me back. <laughs> and I also just want to say that if you feel like compelled to write something mean online, then just take yourself out of the situation, go for a walk, do something nice that makes you happy. Um, I know from experience that sitting in your room alone on your laptop can be a really toxic space and although it doesn't compel me to write bad stuff online, um, I do think it's important to live in the real world as well, which is why I took a break. So um, I just want to say that to everyone, just let's separate the online world from real world, make sure you get a healthy dose of both. So today I have a video that I have never done before, I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do it. So I'm really excited and I'd love to invite any other YouTubers to have a go because it really was good fun. Basically, today I am doing a haul solely of things that were advertised to me on my phone. This is such a talking point right now, how our phones are spying on us, they're listening to us. I mean, me and my boyfriend say this all the time, we'll be talking about something like, oh, I really fancy a peach iced tea. And then like an hour later, we'll be scrolling through Facebook and there'll be an ad for Lipton iced tea. And it's just really, really creepy. And this happens all the time. It's not really a secret, like I don't know how they get away with it, but for some reason, you know, we all carry on using our phones. Um, not really sure how I feel about it, to be honest, but I thought I'd make it into a positive and see if I could do a YouTube haul based purely on the things that were advertised to me. So basically, how well does my phone know me? I have spent days and days and days scrolling through social media, looking for ads. I found like there weren't really many ads on Twitter, Instagram there was a couple of ads, and I don't mean like influencer ads, I mean those promoted posts that target you based on the things that you're liking, the things that you're searching and interacting with online. So Instagram, I think I saw like a couple of ads, but my main source material came from Facebook. And I thought Facebook would know me really well because it owns Instagram, and I interact with so much on Instagram, but I got some strange ads, like I'm gonna insert some screenshots. I got some children's black vans from Very, and like an anorak for boys, like children boys. I got loads of weird clothes advertised to me by brands that I didn't know, clothes that I would never ever wear, like these weird shoes and this weird bag. And for a while I'm like, wow, my phone does not know me at all because what are these shoes? I did think about buying the bad stuff for a joke, but then I just thought it was more interesting to see if I could actually successfully shop purely based on ads without having to go on the website at all. And I do feel like I got a few really, really cool things. Um, a few from brands that I already know, like Revolve and H&M. I have quite a few things from H&M. They advertised this top to me and the skirt like loads of times. I was like, I already got it. And then all the rest, including this huge box, is all shoes and accessories, including a couple of brands that I had never ever heard of before. So let's get into it. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you are new. And of course, turn notifications on for my channel so you always know when I've posted a new video. So I'm going to start with my Revolve parcel. To be quite honest, I was kind of disappointed with the Revolve ads because I guarantee there's like a thousand things that I love on Revolve but there was a lot of ads that I was just scrolling past because I didn't really like this stuff. Um, there was one dress that was advertised to me that I really liked, but it was sold out, so I couldn't get it. Um, so these are the things that I did get from the ad. Okay, so the first thing is from Forlevin Lemons, which is oh, just the most beautiful brand ever. And it's this top. Oh my God, this is so nice. I remember this from the ad. It's so, so beautiful. It looked amazing in the picture. It's just really like kind of natural, really subtle and simple. Um, it feels amazing. I think just with like some high-waisted denim shorts, this would look so, so cute. Like a really lovely summery top. I really like that. That probably would be something that I would pick out like if I was scrolling through the website. Next, I have something from a brand called Sailor, which I've never heard of before. <gasps> oh my God, how nice is this dress? Oh my God, what size is this? It looks a bit big. Hopefully this will fit because I really, really like it. Look at that lilac color, it's so beautiful. I just can't get over it. The ruffles and the crochet, I can't wait to try that on. So I only got one more thing 
from Revolve, and it's this dress from Majorelle, which is a brand, again, that I just really, really like. It's so lovely. It's this dress, which actually is cute. Like, it's probably not my, like, my perfect cup of tea. Like, I don't know if I would actually pick this up if I was scrolling through the website, but it is really pretty. It's a satin dress with these tears and a lovely floral pattern. It has a very plunging neckline, which, you know, is not my usual neckline of choice. However, I do really like the material. It's lovely in like silky satin. Um, and the pattern is quite nice. Like it's a few colors that I wouldn't normally wear, like the greens. I do like it, but I don't love it as much as the other two. Okay, next I'm gonna open one of the accessory boxes. I think this one is from Guess. And apart from when I used to go on the Guess trips, I never actually shop at Guess. Like I never really look on their website. I never really go in store, but they came up on my ads and I saw these two bags and thought they were really cute so let's have a look the first one was this and I know what you're thinking it is a little bit tacky but this kind of like tacky like 90s design is coming back around with all the logos and like the colors um, and it is stylish again and there was just something about this that really caught my eye obviously the color is really bright and fun for summer and I can't help but really like the guests logo all over it like it is a little bit tacky and honestly probably like a year or two years ago i would have thought this was absolutely gross and i never would have considered it but now i just think it looks really really cool i think this was in the sale also i like the little padlock on it and yeah i just think it's really cool like you could just throw that over like a little white summer dress or if you're even wearing something like boring like denim jeans or shorts and a cute white top it just has a cool vibe and i do I do like this bag, I can't lie. And I'm just like really proud of my Facebook for advertising this to me. <laughs> and then I got one more bag from Guess, um, which is kind of, you know, similar vibes on like the tacky logo front. Oh my God, you guys are gonna die. I don't know if you're gonna love this or hate this. In fact, I don't know if I love this or hate this, but this is the second one. Actually, I love it, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's so cool. This reminds me, like, it's really retro looking. It looks kind of vintage, like a vintage beach bag, something you take on a holiday. I just think it's so, so cool. I love the colors. I love like the beigey gray with the brown stripes. Um, and it's all kind of like white and cute. It has the top handle and the crossbody. It's like a little bowler bag shape. I don't need any more bags, obviously, but I do just like to have fun with bags and I think they just jazz up an outfit. And this would just look so cute again with like an outfit like this or one of my plain white summer dresses that I have so many of. You can just like make it a bit more funky with a fun bag. And I do think there's something classy about it, like the colors and the stripes. It's a bit like nautical summer holiday vibes. I know I'm bad, okay? And self-acceptance is the first step to, um, so I'll do H&M next. I feel like H&M was the website that was most advertised to me out of everything. Um, but again, there wasn't like a ton of stuff that I really liked on there. There was a few things that I really liked that were out of stock. So that was kind of annoying, but there were a few things that I liked. First of all, these sandals. I think these are their premium quality sandals, like the leather. So they're a little bit more expensive than normal um, normal H&M stuff, but I thought they were really cool. I loved the color, just a really easy color to wear with lots of stuff and a nice little block heel my favorite type of shoe to wear and then it just has these cute straps I believe it or not do actually need a new pair of summer shoes because I wear the same ones every single day and it's getting boring and they're getting worn like they look worn and I think I'd get a lot of wear out of these and um, I love the color really neutral they look really comfortable but really stylish and simple I also got these shorts which I love and I think Facebook kind of cheated because these were in my saved items on H&M I was planning on buying them anyway when I saw them because I think they're so so cool. Um, I love the colour again, really nice and neutral. I love the way the black letters contrast. I don't know what it says. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to know what it says, but the letters are a really cool pattern. Um, I like the pleats. Uh, it's kind of like gathered at the top, which is a nice detail. And I just love wearing shorts a lot more um, than skirts recently because I think they look better when they're from the high street, with a few exceptions like the H&M lemon skirt, which is literally perfection. But in general, I feel shorts have a better structure and therefore they look more expensive than a lot of um, more affordable skirts. I also got this little top. Clearly my phone knows how boring I am <laughs> because this is like my perfect kind of top that I wear all the time because they're just so easy. This is actually a body, um, which is really good because then it fits to your body really nicely. I also got this dress, which was advertised. It's called the Airy Tunic. It's actually really cute. It has a gorgeous boho vibe with these huge oversized 
sleeves. It's very flowy and floaty, but there is a little elastic where you can bring yourself in at the waist to give yourself that shape. So I do think I'll really like this. There are lots of beautiful like embroidery details, and I do think this will be really pretty on. It probably could use a belt, like a brown belt, but it would look so nice with the shoes, for example. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this dress. I'm excited to see what this looks like on. This was advertised a lot, like every single time I scrolled through my ads, even on different days, even when there were lots of different things in the ad, this was always there. So clearly my phone really wanted me to buy this. I also got this little play suit, which I'm looking forward to trying on because I really like the color. It's yellow, but it's kind of like a beigey, muted yellow, um, which is nice because it kind of sticks to my neutral tones, which is my thing, but it just expands it a little bit. And I do like yellow. I think yellow looks really nice with blonde hair and a tan. So I thought this was really cute, really simple. It's just a little broidery play suit with a little tie around the waist, really easy to wear in summer, just something to kind of throw on and look really, really casual, but cute and like you haven't really tried. And then the last thing I got that was advertised to me on H&M was this cute little pink straw bag. I did think this was adorable. Straw bags are so in and they've been in for like a few years in a row now. So it feels like they're not really going anywhere. And this is lovely because it's just super, super casual. You could use this just like an everyday bag. You could also use it as a cute beach or holiday pool bag. It's got these really nice faux leather straps and I think the beauty is in the simplicity. Like it doesn't look like a cheap old bag. It looks really nice, especially if you wore it with a really lovely dress and some cute little heels um, or just by the pool with like a beautiful white cap down or white bikini. Okay, now I'm going to open this box. I'm saving the big one till last because there's a lot in there. So this is a brand called Four Ziri. Four Ziri. I had never heard of it before, but I kind of liked that. Like. We don't want to see the same old boring thing, all the stores that we already know. So I was happy to see something that I'd never even heard of before. I think I got two bags. I think one bag was advertised to me and I bought two from the website. Ooh, everything's very nicely wrapped. Cute little dust bag. La Le Pamentier. Le Pamentier Paris. Oh, so maybe this brand is not actually a brand. It's like a um, boutique retailer. So they stock different brands. Ooh, yes, this is the one that was advertised on my Facebook. I'm just gonna take the thing off so you can see. How divine is this bag? It's absolutely adorable. And this shows that actually my phone probably does know me very well because this is like a perfect Freddy bag. Like I feel like you guys would see this in a shop and be like, that's a Freddy bag. I love the top handle. So, so cute. And of course, that beautiful shiny gold hardware. Lovely suede soft interior. And we have a long strap as well. That is literally the cutest thing. I love it. Oh, I really, really want it. This is so bad. I do this for you guys. I create content because I know that you like to watch it. But then I get like, not stuck with things, but I get attached to things that I don't have room for. I don't really remember. Oh, it's the same one. It's the same one, just in a different color. I remember now. This is cute too. I like this. This is more of like a taupe color, which I think is really nice if you don't want to go like all out with a bright pink. This is a little bit more like mature. I think this would go with more. And actually, do you know what? If I was going to keep one, I would probably keep this because I have so many pink bags and I do really like this color because it's very versatile. It goes with a lot of different outfits because it's very neutral, but it can kind of tone in with different colors. So this would look really, really gorgeous with pink. Clearly my phone knows I have a thing for bags. I just love bags. I can't describe why, they're just so <sighs> lovely. I am so, so tempted to keep this one because I don't have a bag in this color. But I do already have two bags there that I really liked, so, but I do think this is nicer. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, next I have my things from Miss Pap, which I have never shopped in before. I don't think I've ever even looked on the Miss Pap website. So I got three things, which is kind of impressive. I think they are like one of those fast fashion brands. Um, so it kind of makes sense that there would be like a few things on the whole website that I would like. Um, so the first thing is this. I'm not impressed by the um, quality of the fabric at all. Is this a dress? Please tell me that it's not a dress. Oh, even better, it's a play suit. Okay, I think this would fit Coco. I mean, the fact is I am too just long for this kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I'm too tall, like this is just gonna be ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that is just tiny. It is quite cute actually, I like the little sleeves. Oh, and there's a belt as well. So the next thing, I'm kind of liking the look of this. I like the pattern, it's quite bright. Oh, this is actually really cute. This is from a brand called Parisian. Uh, again, I don't really like the feel of the fabric, like it's not the nicest, 
but it's such a cute design. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Zimmerman with these little um, crochet trims. It's a play suit as well, which is even better. I love the sleeves. I just love this beautiful floral pattern. Um, yeah, that looks absolutely gorgeous, although I'm not a huge fan of how it feels. I think it's beautiful. And then the last thing I got is also from the brand Parisian. It's this cute little pink dress with frills at the bottom and frilly little cami straps. Um, I feel like, again, this might be too short for me. I don't feel like I would, this would have caught my eye if I was scrolling through, you know, a website like ASOS or something. I feel like this is not something I would pick up. So next I'm gonna open the big box. Now this is from a brand called Charles and Keith. And this is a brand that I had never heard of before. They came up on my Facebook ads and it really caught my eye because I saw like a really cool bag on the ad. I think it was a bag or a pair of shoes and I ended up basically buying the entire website. So although my phone didn't advertise all of this to me, my phone did introduce me to this brand that I had never heard of and honestly I can't remember the last time I went online on a website and wanted everything. Like I was adding everything to my basket. I'm actually really scared because I was just went crazy basically. Oh my god. Okay. Ah! Right. So, the first pair of shoes are these. These are really cool. The only thing I'm worried about is they might be a little bit high for me. Because you guys know I love a heel, but I don't like a super high heel because I'm pretty tall anyway, so I don't really like to tower over people. But I did think these were really cute. I loved the design. It's kind of like a slingback um, sandal, and it has this gold like sun buckle which I think looks really cool. I liked the neutral kind of cream color. I think I did also get these in brown. So here they are in brown. I kind of think I prefer them in brown. I think they look a little bit more expensive in brown and maybe you could wear them with more things. I don't have any shoes like this, so it's definitely something different. But I think these would just make a cute plain summer outfit. Again, like I said earlier, that plain white dress or even the jeans and white top combo just look a little bit more put together, a bit more elegant um, and fun. I really like the gold sun, um, I really do. And I think I do prefer them in brown to cream. I also really like the way they're packaged. Like I like the tissue paper, it's like branded tissue paper. It's just really nice. I like it when uh, a brand makes the buying experience pleasurable for the customer. So this is the first bag that I saw on Charles and Keith. I think this was from their new end section. I thought it was so, so cute. I love this blush color. I love like the faux croc leather. I just think it looks so cool. It has a little bit of a vintage retro vibe, which you know I love. I love the top handle, again, as to that vintage vibe. I just think this is so cute. And little bags are really in right now. Like they're called micro bags. And I don't mean the ones that like high-end designers are doing that are literally this big because it just looks stupid. But a really petite, cute bag is something that needs to be on like your trend wish list for this year. So I think that's really cute, especially for summer and kind of like end of summer, start of winter, because I think this color transitions really, really well from summer to autumn, winter. Oh my God, sometimes I do wonder what I'm thinking. <laughs> so the next pair of shoes I got were these and they're kind of awful, but kind of amazing at the same time. I really love them. I think they're so so cool. So they're this really beautiful like pinky nude faux leather heel with a sling back ankle strap and this really cute little gold buckle detail here. And I really like how it kind of comes to the bottom here so the whole foot is exposed, which is nice. The only thing I'm not sure about is the pointy toe. You guys know I'm not really a pointy toe fan. If these were like a round toe or an almond toe or even open toe, I would be absolutely crying over these. I just think they're so cute. They're really eye-catching really feminine but I do think they are cool like they're a bit different I just think they're really really nice I think this is my best brand discovery like of the year and I'm really sorry if I'm late and you're like Freddie how did you not know about them but do you know what I'm just gonna be honest I didn't know but now I do and I'm so happy I do look at this bag I mean, it looks like this could be like a My Teresa haul or a Farfetch or something like that. Like these are so designer, luxury looking bags. The designs are just so unique and it's like not really something you see on the high street that much. Quality of this and the other bag is amazing and I just think this is the coolest thing I have ever seen. I just haven't seen a bag like this. It's kind of got that bamboo, like Gucci strap vibe going on, which I really, really like. And this is all like woven and all the bags come with their own little dust bags, which I think is so nice because the prices of these, I think they're around like 50, 
60, 70 pounds. I think some of these were in the sale, so they were cheaper. And I just think that's the perfect price point for a bag because it's still nicely made, it's unique. You feel like you're buying something special, not just going to like new look and buying a bag. Um, but it's not like gonna break your bank like a lot of more unique designer bags will and that's why I think I fell in love with this brand so much because they have that really unique high-end design quality but not at a crazy and affordable price. So yeah, I think this bag is so incredible. Next, I picked up this little bag, which again, I love. Wish I didn't, but I do. It's just so adorable. A little pinky nude top handle bag. This would just go with absolutely everything. I'm sorry that it's kind of similar to the other bags I've shown you, but um, I just think it is amazing and not like bank breaking either, which is the best thing about it. If I didn't have 100 bags already, then I would completely buy this. I mean, I'm still considering it, by the way. I do have to be sensible because I do have so many bags. Um, but I just love this. I kind of think it has a little bit of a Valentino feel. Am I the only one that's getting that? Maybe it's the buckle. It kind of has little studs on, which makes it look like it could be maybe a Valentino rock stud bags. And I'm just like so stunned at this brand. It's like my favorite brand right now. <laughs> this is the last pair of shoes and I adore Adore these. I think I'm definitely gonna keep these because this is the kind of shoe that I wear all the time in summer. I just love an ankle strap. This heel height and like the chunkiness of the heel is perfect. I love the brown and pink combo, you guys know. Pink and brown is one of my favorite combinations ever. And again, the quality just feels amazing. And also there's a really, really cool detail. So it has a little um, buckle strap so you can tighten it to how tight you need it on your ankle. But there's actually a little hook here so that when you take them on and off, you don't have to keep doing and undoing the buckle. You can only do it once and then you just have to slide the buckle in to the hook so it's super quick and easy to get them on and off which is absolutely genius and out of everything in this haul this is the thing that I feel like I'm definitely without a doubt going to keep because I know I'll get my wear out of them and I think they are so so nice so this is the bag that was advertised to me and I think it ended up being like my least favorite bag but I felt like I had to order it because it was the only thing in the box that was actually on my ads. But it is super duper cute. It's a little white top handle, like little trunk style. And I was drawn to it because I really liked the shape and structure of the bag. Also, I don't really have a nice white bag to go with my clothes. So I have one, but it's quite big and I'm really into little bags right now. I just think they're much cuter and much more stylish. The hardware is like this beautiful, deep, like brassy gold, which is really unusual. And the push lock is two little pearls, which I think is such a lovely detail. So actually I do really, really like this. And I love how the top of the bag is like a lid. Do you see that detail? It's a really, really nice design. It's giving me a little bit of like a furler vibe. I think all of the bags have some kind of like designer element that they're not like duping, but they're just taking certain style elements and making their own design, which I really like because it kind of gives you that designer feel, but you don't feel like you're wearing a fake or a dupe or a copy. And then the last item I have to show you today is another bag from Charles and Keith, which just blew my mind. And it's this beautiful, incredible little trunk clutch. It is amazing. I do not think I've ever seen a bag like this. The design is just so unique. It's like this woven kind of like wooden fabric, except it's not wooden. It does feel like fabric, which keeps it nice and light. It's the most incredible like box clutch style, just like the Aspinall bags, which are so, so expensive with a little top handle. This would look so good with this outfit or like any summer outfit for that matter. I'm literally like the brand's biggest fan right now. <laughs> Sponsor me. I just don't know what to say. I feel like I need to clear all of my handbags out for these. So guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you liked it. I had so much fun doing this and I do think my phone actually knows me pretty well because I like almost everything. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.